In tonight's Local 10 News investigation, we turn our attention to insects that have been around since the days of the dinosaur and certainly no strangers to us here in subtropical South Florida. Of course, we're talking about termites. Though no bigger than an ant, they're known as silent destroyers, causing $5 billion in property damage every year. And our area is facing a new threat from a foreign invader that's putting the environment and personal property in jeopardy. They are known as so silent destroyers, colonies of termites that can eat nonstop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you never know they were there. The question is not, am I going to have termites? The question is, when? Among the nearly two dozen species of termites in South Florida, there is a new and formidable foe, the Asian subterranean termite. We had termite problem forever, but this is a new type of pressure, this is a new type of damage, and this is a new beast on its own. Initially from Southeast Asia, it's now thriving in our subtropical climate. This termite uh, has the potential uh, to cause the most damage of pretty much any other wood destroying organism we have here. So how did the Asian subterranean termite get here? The same way other invasive species infiltrate South Florida, by hitchhiking on our boats and by slipping into shipments that are brought in through our ports. It's impossible to screen every single tiny box and, and pallets and everything. So sometimes it, it goes through. Once a male and female mate, the colonies grow in size quickly. And within basically five to six years, it's way over a million termites. The colony reaches a certain size. They're going to start doing subterranean exploratory tunnels out 100 yards in all directions. And all they got to do is find somebody's house and it's like, hey, girls, found something over here. It's gone. It's gone. They could also wreak havoc with our native landscape, destroying trees that are a vital part of our ecosystem. This specific species is the first one that we've actually have observed has the potential to kill a living tree. All the other termites will infest the living tree, but they'll usually eat the dead wood off the tree and cause the tree itself no damage. This termite here is different. Scientists at the University of Florida's Research and Education Center in Davie are looking at the basic biology of the Asian subterranean termite to uncover its weaknesses. They've developed a bait that can be carried from one insect to another, wiping out an entire colony within a few months. It doesn't kill them right away, and this is why it works, because it's slow enough to reach every single termite. But even this powerful weapon can never get rid of the Asian subterranean termite. This aggressive invader is here to stay. This is some of the worst termite damage. This is a new norm for South Florida. The Asian subterranean termite has been found from Key West all the way up to Riviera Beach and continues to spread, causing environmental damage along the way. Scientists say 50% of the trees in Fort Lauderdale alone are infested with Asian subterranean termites, an assault that could permanently alter our native tree canopy.